Hello everyone, it's Rad. Welcome to Rad Gutaro channel and uh, <clears throat> this video is going to contain a, a general tarot reading and for that reason, as general tarot reading, the reading itself is going to relate to different subjects and situations and is going to manifest itself in a different way with every single different person. Now, in case uh, you are interested to know about specifically about your personal situation, uh, you can check out my website, uh, which is listed here in the display, or it is as well shown in the description of the video. And there you are going to find, visiting it, you are going to find on the very front page, full list of my services, as well as their pricing, starting from just as little as $12 for the recorded readings and uh, $15 for the private call readings. Apart from that, if you want to see me live or, you know, you want to contribute with an event on me, you can check out my Facebook page, which as well you can see here on the video or in the description down below and consider sharing and subscribing the video because this is a one-man operation and it, you, your, your support does uh, helps a lot. That being said, uh, I want you now to lay back comfortably and enjoy the show. Right, so this is going to be a uh, Leo Sun, Leo Moon and uh, Leo Rising, a weekly tarot reading, <clears throat> August 5th to August 11th, 2019. And uh, bear with me a, a second, guys, to shuffle the cards and we're going to get right into it. So the first card which stands for the uh, general topic for the Leo's week, this is going to be the Ten of Pentacles, followed by the next card which represents the challenges that Leo needs to overcome throughout the week, this is going to be the Hierophant card, followed by the third one which represents the positive aspect of the Leo's week, this is to be the Page of Wands. And then the last one, which is the guidance the tarot is offering to you, Leo, that is going to be the four of pants, the four of swords, excuse me. So, uh, well, it's um, it's a pretty, uh, it's a week of a rather serious deliberations that you need to uh, that you need to place on. That is uh, because we do have a someone uh, that is approaching you with a, a very good either a proposition or idea. I do believe that it is more idea than a, a proposition, an idea that will require from you a bit of an investment. And uh, also there are going to be some circumstantial fact, facts contributing into your deliberation, meaning that uh, you are to find yourself more than capable, you know, to invest into the idea. However, uh, the whole either lucrivity or benefit, benefits from the idea itself may look a bit sketchy to you and for that reason you know you may kind of like feel hesitant to, to to invest in it and under investment i don't mean only money you know it could be as well time um it could be efforts it could be emotional um connection as well and i that person that approaches you, it, you do have history with one another, okay? And that also contributes further because back in the days, probably, you know, you did not took the person itself either very seriously or you took them seriously and you made a mistake by doing so. And, uh, you know, that, 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 that particular fact is not going to help to uh, judge in their favor or rather like to judge in the favor of the idea but before we go into that guys and scrutinize the reading let's run the cards down one more time so ten of pentacles it is the general topic of the week followed by the uh the hermit card did i said the hierophant previously i'm sorry it's the hermit card which stands for the uh Challenges afterwards is going to be the page of wands, which is the positive aspect that is the person and the last one It is the guidance, which is the four of swords. So ten of pentacles um, <clears throat> Let me draw the one additional card here. We do have the ace of pentacles So uh, it pretty much confers my uh, confirms my suspicious here uh, That is born by the higher uh, by the hermit excuse me sitting on a negative uh, position that the idea itself is going to be a, a very good thing. As a matter of fact, it 
probably involves you uh, making some lucrative assets <clears throat> once the idea is is finalized and achieved as well now what these cards here are talking about these two first of all they are passive passive supporters excuse me and uh, the whole the whole week revolves around you uh, first of all obtaining a greater independence for yourself second it does involve you making steps toward furthering your goal in general you know and establishing a um a personal endeavor or a personal situation that none else can actually influence therefore whatever happens in your life afterwards that other people were involved you always are gonna have that thing here which you can look forward to because it's nobody else's okay and I said that I lean more toward an idea because it doesn't look like that you are going to contribute with this person it is just you get the idea from them but you alone are going to manifest that idea should you decide to go down that road however the week itself is going to be very positive on a standpoint meaning that um, in a sense of that you are going to be uh, surrounded by warmth you're going to be surrounded by very um, well-meaning people I don't know how to say it but let's say sincere and, and, and caring people which you can truly relay uh, rely on and um, to be honest it's a week where you are to experience a lot of content and as well a lot of satisfaction having very good relationships with those people which you are around therefore it doesn't look like that you're going to be given a hard time by anybody and as well uh, in case you are in a relationship or you do have any business whatsoever the week is going to be very positive for a successful business maneuvers and as well a um a good uh a good harmony you know or um, an, an amplified harmony into your relationship so that leads us to the next card which represents the uh challenges that you need to overcome and this is going to be the her the hermit card so the hermit represents uh when one withdraws themselves from the world um and withdraw themselves from the uh how do i say it from the cumulative opinion of the world and they structure their own personal opinion for what should be their next move therefore one relies on their personal intelligence their personal wisdom as well to focus on what is substantial and that will be challenging for you okay so <clears throat> what i mean here it is that you may be more prone to lean to move along with everybody rather than to move along with yourself and so while this idea that you're going to receive throughout the week is going to be a very good idea it's because others doesn't think that way you may decide to completely neglect it or to completely pass it over while it is a, a substantial piece of your life or can present you with a, a substantial piece of your life saying that because the hermit card it's usually a, a direction that one can take you know but unfortunately there will be no one there to acknowledge that okay so it, it doesn't look like that you're gonna have support by anybody should you decide to move down that road of this idea the accompanied card here is going to the magician formation it is a, a passive enemies and uh, it's uh, it's a, a combination of a serious doubts that you can push it through all right that, that you can eventually sort things out or you are capable enough to to reach the very end of the idea itself so here additionally we do have also doubts into oneself with this so that being said it's a challenge right and uh, definitely you can overcome it just like i said and that is very well described here in the guidance and that can be overcome by you deliberate carefully and thoroughly over the idea itself so with that leads us to the positive aspect of the week and this is going to be the person itself here who divulges you the idea we do have the page of wands so what the page of wands really is as a person well that is a person who is sick of being told what to do okay that is a person who does have these kind of crazy expectations and as well crazy ideas if i may say it that way which many people as a, as a matter of fact almost everybody around them are thinking that those ideas are rather stupid or or or, or a fallacies and all these kind of stuff but the truth be told page of wands 
uh, while naive and while very fragile from within, but giving an impression that it does not care what the other says, you know, those ideas that the page has can definitely be established at a certain point. And the card represents that lonely voice in the desert that eventually someone needs to listen to. And that someone this week, it's you, Leo. So you should listen to the voice that the page gives you or that this person gives you. So how you're going to recognize the person of the page of wands? Well, usually, uh, well, there are two ways, two extreme ways. So usually the page of wands, it's either the center of the company, all right? It is it, everybody, uh, it, it it aims to be the most influential person out there, or it's the outcast, the underdog. It is because everybody does not believe in, in not in their sincerity, but in their capabilities, that is. And generally rebellious person as well. The accompanied card here is going to be the Queen of Pentacles formation. It is a uh, active uh, neutrals. So uh, how, how can I place it here? Well. To be honest, the page really knows or that person really knows what is in stake, okay? And it's willing to let it go or to, to, to sacrifice it. Now, the page realizes that while there are many things that can be developed still in the current assets that one has, that you do have, all right? Those assets are not going to go anywhere. Therefore, can be... Um, delayed okay so therefore they can be delayed while one is is taking participation into this uh into this new idea these two cards here are representing the urge one to jump into something new into new enterprise new endeavors new endeavor new project new relationship for example and etc etc and also the what i what else the page is going to do for you is going to make you more confident into your own personal skills and as well your own personal drive that is until you understand that you are quite strong on your own accord, you know, and while at the initial, uh, at the initial stage of the idea itself, you thought that you will not be able to do it without anybody's help throughout the week, you know, as you um, empathize with the page, uh, it looks like that you will become more and more comfortable, uh, com uh, no, more and more confident, excuse me, into your into your own personal capabilities that you can definitely push this one through. So guidance-wise, the tarot points to the Four of Swords. So what the Four of Swords really is? Well, the Four of Swords, it's usually related to taking a break and definitely considering um, deliberating upon the entirety of one's life and upon the entirety of one's situation. Four of Swords usually relates to where you will have to either seek therapeutic help should you face a depression, you know, or, or any kind of a, a matters and issues which requires a, um, a professional judgment or opinion. Like, for example, if you are depressed, you have to see a shrink, you know, if you have difficulties managing your finances, you got to go and see a financial advisor and etc, etc. Or if you have doubts, you know, for example, this uh, idea invo involves you investing money. You're not sure if this invest if this uh, investment is going to be a good thing. Well, then go and see a financial advisor. Uh, show them the information, and they will decide for you. On it because they are a, a professional who can make the judgment better than you do. But the thing with the four of uh, swords is that you need to um, deliberate with a faithful companion upon your options available moving on forward, deciding which is the best one for you. But, but the card itself points that you are also not pressured by time, so take your time. The accompanied card here is going to be the Page of Swords, and that is another confirmation. By the way, first of all, these are active supporters. That is another confirmation that this idea is going to catch you off guard, and yet it appears as a unexpected source of help or a breakthrough. However, will require from you to um, 
not it's not exactly look outside of the box or think outside of the box but approach it in a rather unorthodox fashion and manner uh, there is a lot of the tool we'll have to learn along the way and you need to be open to learn it of course but the page of swords with the four of swords it also uh, represents a, a huge distinguishing in between what is real and what it isn't. So the more you deliberate upon this idea, the more you are going to be convinced that it's actually something achievable. So that being said, Leo, this was your weekly tarot reading August 5th to August 11th, 2019. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it, guys, and we're going to see each other next time. Until then, bye!